Hello, 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 fans, fans, followers, thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around with me, Daddy D Man 81 on YouTube. Bringing to you today uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 5. This is the expansion, Tribes of the East. This is one of my favorite games from the 90s. It is turn based strategy, so you make a turn every, every turn, you do what you can, and then you end the turn, wait for everybody else to make their turn, and then come back to you. This game, you build up heroes, and the heroes have armies and they follow each other uh, anyway there's eight different factions and it's all hard to explain but without further ado I'm gonna get into it with this video so enjoy hello 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 fans fans followers thank you for stopping by stepping in sticking around we are continuing on heroes of might and magic 5 this will be chapter 2 as you can see we are continuing this story with the knights that I started in chapter 1 see that I am still barely on day two of the second month, uh, second week, and uh, I haven't done anything yet with this turn. So just letting you know that we are literally starting off exactly where I left off at the end of chapter one. So as we continue, I'm going to get my scout out here. We're going to continue over the sign. I just wanted to brag about the sign. You must be who walked over to read this sign. I only repeat. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Would that say to read for certain that you cannot pass or because you don't know how to go around? Hopefully, <laughs> I will tell you. Oh, because I was teasing. People are going to be confused like, as new. So, like, again, read the signs. If you're confused about where you are or how to get somewhere, read the signs. Some of the signs will actually help you. Uh, some people will skip the signs and be like, I don't want to read that. I don't want to go way over there. And uh, so the signs will help you. I just got to work on the timing of the signs. So hopefully... By the time I get this video actually out to people, I will have improved the timing of the signs. I just got to figure out what the uh, conversion rate is of the number that uh, is uh, asked. So, this is my ranger. He doesn't have much, but that's a moderate fight. So I thought maybe I'll go like this and I'll show you what's this tower. You can see that there's actually a tower in the tower. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I did that, but I didn't think it would actually show the tower inside the tower. That's just the tree thing. Um, if you know the game, you know what I'm talking about. There's a tree that the redwood tree that lets you see. Anyway, let's hopefully see I win this thing. He's level two, so he should be able to take on the level one peasants. Um, that's level one. Um, but my, I'm. Basing everything on my ranger itself. Um, all right, here we go. So divine bolt. Oh, a third of you already gone. Oh no, I was supposed to do seven. I only did like four. half of them they're not going to reach me yet so they're not going to reach me yet I'm not going to go at them yet I'm not going to give them a chance to attack me yet in fact I might stall and go farther out again they're not going to reach me yet so if I can go farther out Oh, that was seven earlier. I thought that was twenty-one. I don't know why. I don't know why I miscalculated that timing. Trying to divide it, so I'll put him way over here in the corner, so he'll have to come down here, and he'll have to come down here. So the sprites will wait. Now that they will be attacked this turn, now is when you strike. When you strike first, you have a better advantage. Because this will hurt these more than he will hurt them. I'm gonna possibly do seven damage here. So if he want, oh, uh, he's not gonna attack me anyways. Too far out. He's gonna go for the one he can attack. 
also want to show you something. So she's got he's got five health points left. He hasn't I haven't lost a stack yet, one from the stack, but five health points left. So when that health point hits zero, I won't, well, I won't stay there. When that health point hits zero of twelve, then I'll lose one. He is only gonna do So the attack will go against the defense. Five defense. It's not gonna do enough. And then when the attack goes against defense, if there's any extra attack, it will apply to damage. Otherwise, damage alone will go. We'll try to make up the difference if it's short. And so that's why they were able to survive a pretty good hit from the peasants. Meanwhile, so the attack is two. Defense is five. It just doesn't want to stay still. So defense is two. So two and two will match. So when that neutralizes itself between the attack and defense rating, then I look at the damage. The damage is one to two, so that's the RNG. It'll roll dice, it'll do one or two damage per stack, so that's 14. 14 times one or two. So it could do anywhere from 14 to 28 damage in one hit. Possibly killing, possibly killing that one. I just wanted to point that out. Notice that there's only two left. Didn't kill him. He's dead. And watch the retaliation. She, he's dead. So if you know how to read the stats and play it strategically, uh, retreat if you need to, let the range try to soften them up, and then strike when you have a chance, you can win fights that otherwise you might thought you were going to lose. So what is this tower all about? The lookout tower I cannot even get to. The other hero will when I get to that other hero. So everything here is done. Don't need to go in there. Just need to go this way. And I got lucky. Go over here and see if oh, I can get divine strength. I could go in here if I wanted to take his chance and, and possibly fight. So that would be an easy fight. That would not be an easy fight. Soon I will push through here. And then I'll have the uh, wood mine. And then I will have ore pit. I don't think that one's ready yet. So, I mentioned in the last video the walls, they come as you're able to walk through them and then I use blockers, the blocker paint, to block it, except, I believe, I hope, yes, I did not put the blocker on the doorway, so I can't get out through that door. I'm going to go through this way first. So you're going to go here since he couldn't, so now I can see as far out here and so I put it to where I could see the next redwood right there and I think there should be a redwood over here somewhere redwood right here is that a red no that's not the redwood I thought that was redwood sometimes you can't see looking down but if you go like this and you go like this look at the silhouette in the shadows and sometimes you can spot the redwood I think that's a redwood right there so I know the redwood's over here somewhere Pretty tricky, huh? Tell me if you knew that. Oh, there's a uh, there's a redwood red. That's the one I just pointed out. So there's a lighthouse right there that'll help your boats. I need that hut right there that'll show me the map in the middle. Pieces of. And then there's just a couple dwellings and other stuff that are useful to you as a knight outside. 
once I walk through that door, I'll be kind of out in the open. Can other factions go through this door? Yes. So of all the factions, all eight factions are built the same way, same pattern of a maze. There's one way to get into your territory. All factions will be able to get in through here uh, on their own. But it's not designed. It, it won't look the same. Just pointing that out. So... Join me. I'm taking a risk here. Yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! How do you like me now? Remember earlier I lost, what did I lose? 50 or 60? 70? I think I lost 70 at the beginning or mid video, last video. Like turn 3 or whatever. I just got at least half of those back. Priests are good. I don't know if I need priests yet. They get expensive. I want to try to build my economy first. Don't always try to go for all the units early on because then that will just take your money away. And uh, you want to build your economy first. So these, uh, this line here, hold on. I mean, you can open the, open this scroll and you can see all the buildings. This line here helps your economy. So once you get down to here, you're getting an extra 4,000, or no, yeah, 4,000 gold per day, but it'll cost me 10,000. This will give me an extra 2,000 gold per day. Added on to, so currently I'm making 1,100. So when I add that, it'll be 30, 3,100. And, but it'll cost me five. And then when I get down to this, it'll cost me 10,000, but I'll get 4,000. So after two or three turns, I'll get that back. So that will help with the economy. And then this is the other thing that's important. It will help you with your fort. Your fort will give you defense, more defense, and more defense. But all three of those, I think, add more defensive structures as well. Just not only defensive health points to the walls, but also like towers and stuff like that. And they also increase, uh, this one does not increase your growth. Oh, yes, it does. Sado increases base creature growth by 50. This one does not increase the growth. It just adds the walls. I'm not feeling threatened yet, so I'm not going to worry about building these. But at the same time, I'm going to time it so I know that if I do this, it's per week, the bonus here. So if I wait, if I build the walls by here, then the next one I can build the um, citadel by here. And then that way, the next week, on week three, day one, I'll have a boost of creature growth from the citadel. So you want to want to plan it, and if you get visitors coming in your territory sooner than that, then you can obviously build it earlier if you want. At the moment, I'm going to actually go build my marketplace. Marketplace will help with these. You can exchange any of those with the gold. And I'll show you that here in a moment. If you come in here and you build a marketplace. The exchange rate is high early on. But as you capture other castles, the more marketplaces you own, the more the exchange rate will help you. Um, and then, of course... If you ever have a chance to use a marketplace on the map, there are marketplaces on the map, and I think I might have discovered one. Let me go double check before I continue on. Of course, I know where it is, because I've already I, I built the map, but I think that's it right there. Trading post allows hero to buy or sell resources. So I own the marketplace. I own one marketplace now, so when I come here, it'll be act, it will act as if I have two marketplaces. Um, so that's also a useful tip for you. And uh, let's continue on. Alrighty, let's go. Uh, continuing on, I usually like to start with my scout first. Since that's already been explored, don't need to go there. And guess what? A stable will increase my increase movement for the week. So through the rest of this week, this champ gets boosted movement. Then I could come up here, but I'm not going to. That's going to be a tough fight. I'm not even coming up there with a knight right now. 
there's nothing else that will benefit me up there. Go venture outside. Oh wait, let's look at these signs. Look at the gorgeous walkway. <laughs> I thought about putting the road here, but I didn't. I should have. Probably make more sense, huh? I might add a road. Well, no, because, I mean, once it gets up here to, like, the little stuff and the very thin stuff, I don't know if a road is very useful. I don't know. You guys tell me, should I add a road? This is mainly just a test run for me, but I'm also kind of showing it off, present it, presenting it for you guys to kind of see a sample of it. So I don't necessarily, ooh, I wonder if I can take moderate, moderate. Question is, nope. So it's divided. The tree and the rock are going to prevent, and I did that intentionally probably. So I think I could be able to cut through right here. So I'd still have to fight this guy to get these two. I think I can access the uh, obelisk. And this will show me a puzzle. A puzzle piece, a new puzzle piece. I think I can a act access the obelisk from either side. But I can't access both stuff unless I defeat both footmen. But I could probably defeat one. So the decision is I'm looking you have two options you can go and just get the wood and whatever this treasure chest is and open the uh, obelisk or you can go get the crystal and open the crystal mine crystal mine plus the treasure chest and more crystal is going to offer you a continuous income improvement so i would say it's just my suggestion to anybody playing when they see the various challenges on their map for whatever race they choose you choose whatever you want but you can help improve your income that's better the sooner that you can do that the better it is I got griffins I forgot I had griffins I should pay more attention to what I had I might have gone the other way if I know I had griffins 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 what can griffins do griffins are awesome the basic base form of the griffin is kind of weak when you get the upgraded they do a surprise attack sweep air sweep for now I'm just gonna leave it wait of course you got a bonus you got good morale so you got a bonus move <laughs> I'm still gonna wait still got bonus morale anytime you see the gold bird facing up that's bonus morale anytime you see a red bird facing down guess what that's bad morale and bad morale will hurt you in the game Hold on, I'm going to pause for a second. What is going on here? It's optimized. Why isn't it doing that? Can I get a message? Continue in three, two, one. So at the moment we're just gonna we're just gonna attack with range. So now I've got a few extra spells I can choose. So what do these do? Stone spikes, death, earth damage to all, spikes strikes from the ground, uh, summon fist from the air, increase the strength of a particular soldier. Increases morale and luck of the enemy selected creature. I'm gonna do that on you, and then I'm gonna focus all my attention on you. Should have done that the first time, I probably would have been able to strike them this time. So 
If I strike him, gotta be careful how you position, because he will reach at least to there. So if I strike from here, then he'll be able to reach, because he, he'll be able to go here and still be able to swing and hit there, compared to if I come over here, or even the safest bet right there. You're not cursed. Not a cursed. You. Do you wonder if they're cursed? You come and right click and you show here, and it'll tell you if they're cursed or blessed. Obviously, he's not cursed. I think I know why. I think he was limited to only a couple turns. That was a bad idea. Don't do sorrow early on like that. Wait till they get up close to you. Then do sorrow. <laughs> if I strike now, I'm gonna do. Kill possibly up to four. They're going to retaliate. They're still going to be able to reach my archer next turn. My best option. Ow. That kind of hurt. He might get killed, but if he gets killed over the archer, then be better. I'm out of mana. Well, that sucks. Anytime you're out of mana, you'll at least have the option of attacking melee or range, depending on what the hero is. This one's a melee, so... They cannot retaliate against the hero. Oh, so if I do this, he's going to have to go around, and that could help the archer. Nice, got lucky. If I kill it, it will protect the archer. So I'm doing that. Oh, fantastic. The only one he can reach is the bird. And the bird does good morale, so he's going to come back over here. Luck. Haha, <laughs> good. Wanted you to attack him. Because I knew you'd do that. Ha ha ha. Not sure why he went for the uh, stronger, higher stack. Possibly because the eagle was probably too strong. I don't know. See? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Did I go here? Yes. Notice it did show me a visit. And yes, I'm speaking to everybody, whoever's watching this. It, I do want to thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. I'm speaking to you as if you don't know this game because some people here could not know this game. Maybe they just want to check it out. So if that's you, I'm definitely speaking to you. If you've already watched this game, and you maybe, I don't know if you know a little, if you know a lot, you might know a lot, but you might not know specific things. I like to just cover everything and, and pretend like, you know, you might not know, because it could be useful, useful stuff. I think we'll go expert or no retaliation strike. Get more crystal. Get the crystal cavern. Fantastic. Now I got it's just the only one I own. I don't own sulfur yet. I don't own gems. I don't even own mercury or oh, I do have ore. Where's the ore coming from? Oh yeah, that one, the last fight of the other knight who lost a bunch of peasants. That's the ore right there. And wood, wood's down here. So I don't have it all yet. And everybody will have a similar challenge. Yes, I made the most simplest of resources slightly harder ones to get. 
just uh, keep that in mind. I wonder if I should go after this one. That was a pretty successful fight. I only lost one win. I think we'll go over here and clear that one. Get that one. So check out this hut, HMPC these huts on any, on any map. And get these. Be very useful. This one will be very useful. It's going to show multiple locations around the center island. Yeah, buddy. I think that's it. Or well, it goes below. I don't know if it shows below. I forget. Yep, shows below. So now you get a glimpse of if anybody goes in these special places. And if you want to go back in and look, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of good stuff over there. So when everybody, so everybody gets that. So all eight faction territories will have this hut similar to them close to there that they'll be able to get um, so everybody else is going to see that same thing you won't know who sees what but just know that everybody is going to have knowledge of the middle by the time you ever even get to the middle the idea is if they see you going for the middle they're going to go for the middle <laughs> that's the idea when you go for the middle make sure you fight yes that is a little thing we'll keep Grab here. Artifact found. Ooh. Nice. What did that do? Ring of Banishment. Cuts down enemy summoning spell spell deficiency. Grants the banish ability to the hero. So what is a banish? It helps with any summon. Uh, where'd it go? So I don't see it right now because I don't actually have it in my spell book. But when I'm in a fight, I'll have it in my spell book. Banish will allow me to prevent or reduce the effectiveness of any creature being summoned on the battlefield, including the demon's um, the demon's gate call when they call their troops from their underworld. So, what did this say? Find out next turn. Meanwhile, come here. Build this, open this, build this, build this, build this. Uh, build, uh, build. Um, stables, that's tier, s tier 6. That's tier 5. That boosts the um, ability of the knights. So it's hard to explain, but the knights are the only one that I can take lower level troops and then upgrade a few at a time per week and they go to the next level so I can make archers turn into footmen or footmen turn into eagles or griffins etc etc but I don't think only seven creatures can be trained in the town with this building per week I don't think I can get the highest or I think it requires the highest skill level that's what it is the skill level has to be at expert or ultimate and then I can train any creature all the way up to the tier 7 anyway so resource silo it's a free resource all eight factions will have a resource silo in some sort or another but it'll be a different resource per faction So again, I'm right now I'm just helping boost my economy. Because there's nobody there. I could train more uh, heroes. Actually, if I recall correctly, at the end of last week, in the last video, I couldn't. I still can't. That must be a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Curious about that. But... That's fine. This is just a test run. If I'm limited, hopefully the others are limited. Because I think I'd, if it, if it's because of what I think it is, then I'm thinking all eight factions are limited. Now it might not be a too bad idea, but I don't know if I like that idea. Previous playthroughs, you can get up to all eight heroes from the city if you wanted to. Alrighty, here we go. 
fighting and see what this says. Welcome, hello, I am not reading on that. Definitely wanted to improve the length. I don't know, maybe maybe I put too much text in. You guys think I put too much? I thought it was a useful thing to do. Put. It's hard to explain what all can. Stonedale Castle Gate. Friends are welcome to enter. Trespassers will be swift. Dealt with swiftly. <laughs> oh, the tavern right there. Oh, let's go see if I can recruit another hero. Nope, I guess not. I'm very interested. Why can I not recruit any other heroes? I messed up. That's up. That's press board. Stop those guys. Not going that way. I should be going out in the water with them. I know this is going to be a dead end. I'm going to be able to get past the gate down there, so I'm going to go the other way. Remind myself to come out this way. And do you have a full siege unit? Do I want a full siege unit? Yes, I do. So what do these do? Well, ammo cart helps the range. Uh, bulging with missiles of all shapes and sizes. And I forgot to explain it. And I'll have to point it out with the champ that doesn't have it. But I'm going to buy this. And then I'm going to buy this. First aid tent will help healing. So remember I pointed out that health points have damage. And the, da the health points of each stack gets less and less until it's at zero. And then it drops by one count. So that health tent, healing tent, will help heal that health points. Hopefully each stack will last longer. And that's the idea. Moderate? No, I'm not playing that. Not, that. not unless this guy comes down and, help and sta doubles up and then I'll go back to the castle. So I'm limited. I'm surprisingly, surprisingly I'm limited, but I'm limited. So, I'm going to have to change my tactics. But, again, like I said, if I'm limited, hopefully everybody's limited. We're going to rearrange. Let's go ahead and put the U right there. Put U right there. Put U over there. And they're a total stack of 124. Let's see if I can get him to come this way, stalling somewhere. No mana, of course. Retaliation strike. Oh, yes. So retaliation strike is zero mana. I should let you read it. But uh, anytime he gets hit by him, obviously, then he'll be able to respond. On instantly, it'll be an automatic. It'll be an extra bonus. Oh, I forgot about this. I never did this pre previously. I won't do it right now, but when there's groups of enemies all combined, scatter shot will be scatter shot will throw multiple arrows in the air. Arrows in the air. We're just gonna let the let the bird handle all. On this, there is no experience per troops. Like, they don't gain levels or anything like that. They don't benefit from the fight. It's just whoever's the most useful, most effective for the combat. Let's see something. I can't see something. Not yet. Damn it. Trying to... F wanted to know if Retaliation Strike will also retaliate to a Counter-Strike. Guess I'll find out. Ow. No, I guess not. You can only... Oh, oh. God, select a creature by the hero against any damage. 
should counter to a counter strike, but I guess not. Each stand can only counter strike once unless previously determined, and it would be determined under where it says like the griffin gets unlimited retaliation. Not every unit has that. Watch, watch, watch. That was automatic. It's funny how the uh, footman cries out. I'm gonna get hurt though. I don't wanna get hurt. Come follow me over here. <laughs> I wanna play mind games with me now. It's gonna work. It is working. If I want to redirect him and make sure that he's not going to work anyway, she's still going to, well he's not going to get there anyway, but Dang it! Die! 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 Hope it's not. I lost four birds. No, three. No. Oh, I don't know how many birds I have. Oh wait, don't tell me right now. I lost three birds. That was painful. Knight's skill allows you to upgrade limited number of human troops of the tier per week. Only works within Haven Towns where training grounds facility has been built. Reduces training costs by 15%. Besides, damage dealt by Knight's troops on retaliation strikes is increased by 10%. I thought somewhere it would say how many I can train or how far I can level up. Interesting. pathfinding probably gonna just mainly use this guy to run troops back and forth to the other guy where's the puzzle piece right there up here in the little corner there where's the other puzzle piece didn't I open one already I think right there so I think this right here was closed off so that's one piece and this is one piece I think I don't see another one It's all up here. Be a long journey to catch up to the other guy. Planning, I'm looking over here to make sure I know the week. I'm trying to count out so I make sure I get. I'll go with the economy. I'm getting kind of low on, get on 
gold, and I don't even think I can make my plan work now. I still don't know why I can't get troops or get more heroes. I should have be able to get up to eight. Something I did in the video edit, on the on the map edit. Uh, Alrighty, let's go. All right, time to run. Right, I know. I'm working on the timing. <laughs> what happens when you don't pay attention to the screen? So I had it selected already, and then I missed up the trail. So when you have a trail already selected, you just hit spacebar constantly. As you keep hitting spacebar, it'll continue going in the direction that you previously ordered. If you're one for hotkeys, you hit number keys. Each number here, like no one, two, and three, will be designated by the number keys on the keyboard. If you hit tab, it'll be the next one available. If you hit control one, it'll be the first, second, third control on the number. It'll be the first, second, third city that you have. Um, so I don't know if you guys are all into hotkeys or not. Some people are. I didn't come all the way down here. <gasps> no! I ain't going after that guy anyway. Not, <laughs> not yet. I think there's a gold mine up here I hopefully can take control of. We'll have to see. Here. So the one-way portals I mentioned earlier, remember they're random to multiple options. So when you come here and then you go through here and you have a chance to either come back out here or the other one-way exits, eventually uh, all the one-way entries on the one-way one -way path, all the one-way entries have the one-way exit. So you could literally go from here and then here, or you can go from here to one of the other two segments with one-way portals. Or you can even come out, there's another one-way exit right here. So you'll have all this over here. So all the one-way portals are connected to each other on one channel. But again, they're all one-way, so you can't turn around and go back out, back in. And because there are multiple ones on one channel, they are, uh, it, it'll be random wherever you go. All that to uh, let you guys know. Just so you know, it's it, there's a lot of randomness to it. And that's what I wanted. I wanted this to be the most unexpected mapping experience a player can have. I might not, uh, I might just skip out on buying this. I really wanted to get that. It could cost me 5,000 next turn. I'm gonna start grabbing some gold with those chests. I'll make 2,000 this turn, so I'll have 6,000, so I'll be able to buy that. And then now when I get that, which is another 5,000, I definitely need at least two chests, 2,000 gold, I hope. Let's see if I can do that by the end of this week. I mean, I'm gonna spend nothing on this turn. All right, let's here we go. Let's here we go, huh? What? Uh, that's a good building to go to if you uh, can get to it. I don't know if I want to fight another. Oh no, I don't want to fight priest. Nope, not right now. Priest will kick my butt. Maybe he will too. Oh, oh, I forgot. There's so many options in this game. Uh, that would be an underground portal. So this would go underground. I th thought there was a way to see underground. Did I not put it there? Maybe it's over here in the corner. I don't know where it went. Should be a building there. Huh. What if I took it away from all of them? Should be 
Give me one of these hats. Like that. Hat of the Magi. And it would show one and it would show the other end of that portal. Well, I don't know. Meanwhile, that's still an easy, uh, manageable fight. Give me a gold mine. I definitely need that. Can I do it right now? Oh, I can get, yeah, I can reach it. Oh, I need it, I need it. I need it. Ready to fight? Do you want to fight? Oh, I got a blister. That's gonna help. I still don't think I'm gonna do enough. Two, two, yes. I don't have any mana. Oh, that's banished. So uh, I was telling you. Deal some damage to all of the summoned or gated stacks depending on hero's level. So anything that's summoned or gated in to the battlefield. Of course it doesn't apply for these guys. I just keep on hitting melee. Hope I can pull this off. Two to four. Four, four, four! No! Err. This is getting dicey. Two, two, two. Oh, yes. Wait, what can you do? Two. Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad you only went part way because I'm going to run. close huh I pulled it out got some experience 300 that would give me more gold I'm running out of turns nope I guess it would give me any gold that was a mistake 300 at least I got the gold mined mine not mined um, hopefully I have enough. I'm really sad. I'm really disappointed in myself that I lost that building. That I don't know what happened. I don't know what the building went. I should be taking notes. I should definitely take mo notes of all the edits I need to be doing. <laughs> If nothing else, this recording is, is my notes because I could go back and watch this recording. Can you do him? Yes, you can. He's got six now. I think I'm going to change it up see now notice the two blocking so nobody will get to the archer now I can put him here so he'll just stay here and retaliate and then he'll be the offensive I think I might change it up we'll see how this plays out
Yeah, we can do that. I need them to be within three tiles of each other. No more than two tile distance. One tile distance. Otherwise, that's pointless. Does more damage with the uh, regular shot. Come on, get me. No. Oh, this might help. Cause select friendly unit to inflict more damage. Yes. So we're going to put on this guy that does 2 to 4 damage. Or this guy that does 5 to 10 damage. Put on Griffin. So that was 5 to 10. Now it's 7 to 10. Oh, come on. Uh, I guess we're gonna abandon that idea. That's gonna hurt. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh no, he got lucky. Good morale off that. No! Oh, that hurt. Of course he didn't go up to this guy. Damn it. They are going to make me pay, aren't they? Probably making a big delay before they get to the archer. So it's usually what they try to do what they try to do. Keep the retaliation on the bird. I'm anticipating he's gonna go after the bird. I don't know. Kill him, kill him. No, get lucky. No, get lucky, you do bonus damage. Don't ever use retaliation. I won. I took a hurt. I took a beat. Hopefully that's worth it. That's all I get for the moment. So, did I earn enough? I think I did. Uh, I don't know if my full plan will work out though. So I wanted to get this turn. So it's six, right? K6? Yes. That's what I thought it was. Just double checking. So if I, earn the, if I build this now, next turn I get 3,000 more. 6,000, no, 5,000, so 7,300 minus 5,000, I have 2,300 plus another 3,000. Oh yeah, I'll be able to do that. 
We're good. We're good. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. And yes, I've made it to where it's, I don't know, like all diagonal, like you, you go multiple directions through this, like mush, marsh, tried to be. I should put a little more swampy lanes. But. That way. There's two underground. I forgot about that. One underground does not have huts, I think. The other underground does. I don't know what I did. I forget. It's been a long time since I played the map. I barely glanced at it the other day to make sure a few things were still intact. And here we go. Oh no, no, that's too da too dangerous now. Danger! I laugh in the f no, I don't. I'm gonna run in the face of danger. <laughs> oh, look at that! I can get anything out of it. But get a crown, all seen crown. <gasps> Ooh, and you're a scout? No, don't do it! Don't do it! It's so tempting. Why do I want it? Because it would let him see farther. It would increase his range for sightseeing about another five or ten tiles, I think. I don't even know what the radius improvement is. But I need that five thousand. Let's go see if I I'm gonna leave that guy there. Go move everybody else. See if I can't find another source of money, and then we'll come back. Maybe. Can I not pass him? Oh, <gasps> can't pass through. Why can't I pass through? Well, uh, you can't go anywhere near, like if I went there, see the red dot, it, he would strike me, or I could strike him if I wanted to. Uh, I can't go past it because this stuff is blocking, and I can't, I can't go to the item because he's guarding it, and that's why I did that. I wasn't supposed to make it so skinny to come through here, though. Huh. Alright, turn around. Run! I, I remember I, I remember the, uh, I remember what I did with the subterranean gates now. This gate is in the back, on the bottom. It'll be in literally in the corner right here, underground. And it'll just be a small island and a bunch of water. So it'll take forever for anybody to get there. So the idea is you want to explore the gate for somebody else to explore the gate. But at least I know where the gate is, so if they come through, I'll see them. But that's kind of like the back door entrance. Compared to, what was the other? This one right here. No. No. This one. Uh, this subterranean gate right here goes down into the next terrain, which is right here. The next land, which is underground right here. So, like I mentioned, so we go underground here and cross over through this territory, whatever's there. I, I know it's there, but I'm telling you. Cross through the territory there, and you come up above ground into this corner. And you go back below ground here, and you come up above ground here into this corner. So, uh, there's eight different territories in the map. Four of them are above ground, four of them are below ground. So, um, in order to make it to where it's slightly more easier to navigate, uh, you can see the other side of the gate for them each of the gates that are sharing with the other territories you can see the other side of the gate if you come uh, look at the hut so this hut right here and this hut's on the outside of the gate but in order to get to the gate I have to go through this first and it's neutral so I have to fight this 
gate and then I can use this to defend my territory if I wanted to. Somebody coming up from below. So when I go through the gate, on the other side of the gate, when I'm below ground, there's another gate that I have to go through that is defended as well. Just about everything in the map is as balanced as possible. Unfortunately, I can't see the other side until I can see this hut in the Magi, and this guy's in the way. Oh, it's a peasant. It is moderate. I can defeat him. Not enough. Not enough! Oh! Oh, I'm not close enough. To what? To this hut. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. Next turn, he's going to the hut. I mean, not the hut. The marketplace. Let's meet at the marketplace. <laughs> I never knew that meme would apply for a video game. Let's meet at the marketplace. Let's do it! Remember, he's just bringing troops to help reinforce the top gun. So he's done a lot, but he's losing some troops. And now he's going to get reinforcements from Vittorio. Vittorio is going to drop everything he has off at... Except we... He doesn't have a whole lot of birds anymore. Lost a lot of birds. Should have saved the birds. That would have been more useful for... Uh... Me. Anyway... Oh no. That artifact. I'm not gonna be able to get it. At the ex at the exchange of the week, I should have left that other hero there and I would have been able to get it. I would have changed marketplace. Ah. Oh. oh well. No all seen crown for you. You have a chance to get an all seen crown? Get it. Don't hesitate. Here we go. So uh, just a quick rundown. I'm probably going to end the video here shortly. I think I might do another turn or two. But um, I think I was going to explain to you that with the circle around the map, it is um, you go under and over with each tunnel. And then there's other options. So the tunnels in the back of the one map for the above ground everybody has that back door as well down below they all have back doors as well but the back door is from the top ground there's islands and water along the giant ocean in between all the land some of those islands will have um, some of those islands will have subterranean tunnels down below and or above ground so they will be the back door to those below ground, if that makes sense. So again, everything is balanced, but everything is uniquely different, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I was just kind of explaining that before I continued on. Hopefully none of you caught on, but I was uh, getting my oven started. <laughs> I walked away with AFK for a moment, so I was kind of stalling, but... Um, oh yeah, I did read that. That was pretty cool. Marketplace? It's not going to help me now. I don't need the marketplace. I don't know, I, I probably do, but I probably do. I'll go to exchange. So I'm not going to send everything in. But what I'll do is I'll do like half of what I have, except for like ore or, or the, mer 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 the mercury, because I don't have a whole lot of those. So I'll try to keep 10 of each of all this. Now that I have a crystal mine, I've got a lot of crystal. We got five of these. Twenty-one of these. And then that way I'm preserving the rest to build up. I got more gold to work with, because that's gonna cost me some. Let's go ahead and see if I can't. Any more gold? Probably not.
Yeah, I lost the... Oh, no, it's right here. Oh! Oh! It didn't swap. I thought it would. Get it. All sync around. You didn't put it on. Should have put it on automatically. Don't you know I want to wear it? I want you to wear it. You did put it on. I think it does have a, a farther sight. There's a boat here. Why is there a boat here? Oh, okay. So some boats are, are part of like the scheme. Just looking like things are abandoned. Um, and then if you see some boats that have no purpose to be in there, like if that had nothing to it, it was just a hero's boat, then that would mean there's a hero somewhere in that land. I don't think there's a hero that close to me yet. It should take two to three weeks before Anybody can enter anybody's territory. It's kind of what I figured. Because at the border between all the territories, there's guardian posts that you have to defeat. And then there's other wild creatures in other areas. And it's just not going to be easy to do early. Zap. He's had he's got a headache. <laughs> uh let's go ahead and run again. Run! Run away! Plead for your lies! Now sometimes if I can go far enough. No, it's not going. Sometimes if you can go far enough, depending on the travel of the particular unit that is being hunted, you can try to hop over him and come over here, but he's going to be able to reach him anyways, so... Don't waste a turn trying to run when you're going to still be hit. Take, th take that opportunity and strike. sure he's not going to reach her. I'm assuming that's a her. Oh yeah, let's check this out. No enemy retaliation. <laughs> and with her spray attack, if they were side by side, she'd hit both of them at the same time. <laughs> she's pretty good. But she's level 1, so she's weak. And she moves fast. She's gonna go twice before he strike. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Bam! Yeah, buddy. Ow. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Only lost one of those. All right, let's see what's on the other side of this. So this is the warlock. I can see the warlock. See, it's kind of surrounded, and you can't see all around it. Oh, yeah, you can. That, that's all it is to it. It's a four-sided little tiny space right there. Some of them are a little bit bigger with like rocks and giant things that you can't cross. Other ones are just really small. But um, whoever comes from this way, it would be a warlock. If they wanted to see my side, they would get this hut. And they would see my side of the gate. And then in order to pass, they'd have to attack this gate. And then go to the portal. And then on my side, they would have to attack this gate. So either way, in order to cross the boundaries, you have to go through the gate on both sides. Can I? Oh, I can't go through. I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. I don't want to fight. I definitely don't want to fight the beast. I might have a chance to split my butt. I don't think so. I thought I'd be able to go all the way to the... Well, I did leave the castle. I did mention you can leave the castle. So, I did that and that. Did creature growth grow? Uh, yeah, it did. Because the peasants were like 20-something? 20 24, 28 or something? I don't remember the other. I think that was 12. I don't remember what all the numbers were, but I'm pretty sure it grew. I think this was four or five. Can I get them all? Yes! And see when now. Remember earlier, the last week at the beginning of the last video, um, I, I uh, called those with the caravan, and then when I left the city, I went to... I went to the caravan and picked it up with my hero. Because I can't pick it up with my hero right now. The caravan is going to bring it to the city. So, I'm just pointing that out. I don't know why. I can still buy some. So what troops do I have? Four, five, no, five, six, seven. Who am I missing? Okay, so this is five. Priest is five. Cavalier. Ca uh, the jousting arena gets the cavaliers. Six, and then this gets me the angels. The tier seven is the angels. They're okay. They do more healing and retribution type of attacks than actually just attacking. Oh, I thought I built something. I looked to build and I, I was talking, so I didn't build. So five, let's go ahead and get that then. Uh, I'm wondering how far, much farther I'm gonna push. One more turn maybe? So this will be my last turn. I am still in the kitchen, but uh, I wanted to make sure that you knew I was coming back. Otherwise, we sit there looking. So with that said, uh, just thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. We'll go ahead and finish this turn, and then I will uh, go ahead and close out the video. Can't really do much with this guy. But he'll still be useful, possibly, depending on what happens. Uh, this guy is not needing the marketplace, because I don't need it anymore. And uh, we are going to be met with the Toriel. Not at the marketplace, though. He's like, oh, I was going to meet you at the marketplace. Well, you're too late. Nice. Nah. Oh, no. We want one of those. I mean, I could take two eagles back, but I'll use the two eagles for last resort. Good. Any artifacts? 
Huh. No. And then Vittorio is simply going to go all the way back to the castle. Taking five turns to get over there. You should have enough to be able to take these. So, tactics are going. <laughs> oh my god. You might notice what I did. I only have one peasant. Why do I only have one peasant? Because I put the one peasant on this guy, and Vittorio took the other stack of peasants. Oh my god. Well, that's going to be detrimental. Completely. Hopefully I got enough range. <laughs> that, I, that's completely stupid. I can't believe I did that. Might do some bait. He's gonna get a cat attack and raise it off. So he's gonna come from way over here and try and draw all the attention of one of them. So I don't think I'm gonna damage them enough. He's gonna fortify. So he'll get better defense and he's gonna fortify. I can't believe I did that. Come get me! <laughs> They're gonna fall for it too. Fantastic. These are four fights, so they'll have better defense. He's gonna die, but the retaliation will give him an extra, the hero an extra strike. And I might be able to kill him. Nice. Long way over here. <laughs> Watch for it. Watch for it. Boom. All that tactics, guys. I mean, it didn't help I screwed myself up when put the wrong stick in the wrong hero. Come back! Come back to me! Do I go? No. Keep them both there fortified. I think he's gonna be attacked first. I don't think he's gonna be able to be able to put him. They won't make it. I think this archer will be able to kill him first. Oh! I think you're dead. Yes! That was fun! All I lost was a single peasant. <laughs> single peasant all by himself. Hey! Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. Don't do it. Oh. I don't wanna do that right now. He's banned in mine, which means I will likely have somebody I have to fight. I think we're gonna add some gold. I think I'll add experience. I don't know which one I want. I hear my oven beeping. That sounds like it's time to be over. So as a reminder to myself when I start the next video, hopefully I pay
pay attention. I need to come back and bring the other stack down here. You're gonna stay there. You're gonna build what? I don't know. Oh, get the rest of the priest. Perfect. Alright, as this concludes the video for Heroes of Might and Magic 5, Tribes of the East, there will be more of this game in the future. I definitely enjoy this game. Uh, this is obviously was part of a series. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, follow for more as I continue to make more videos of other games as well. Thanks again for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around with me, Daddy Dman81 on YouTube. I appreciate you guys, and you have yourselves a good day, night, morning, whatever it be for you. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy and grace upon my life. I pray all those who see this reach out to you one day. Thank you to the game developers of these games and more for the products you make. Keep up the good work. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all my fans, friends, and followers for stepping in, sticking around, and checking out these games with me. God bless.